Using Draftsman templates can significantly speed up the process of creating drawings and can also help with document standardization. We'll take a look at which templates exist and how we can use them to our favor. There's two types of Draftsman templates, a sheet template and a document template. The sheet template will be one specific Draftsman sheet which will contain different views and it'll be saved out as a sheet template. When we go to save the drawing, we'll save it as a sheet template as shown in the file type options. Now since the sheet contains information that's specific to that PCB project, it's going to notify you that only generic information will be reused, and not the information specific to the PCB, such as dimensions and other items. Creating a sheet template really is as simple as that. Jumping into the preferences, we can see how and where templates are stored. The local templates folder will show you the location where the templates are stored. In this case, it's pointing to the default installation folder, and this may be changed for you to represent your company's shared folder. We can create our own document template when starting a new Draftsman document. The template can be changed for each sheet in this document, for example, if we wanted to use the sheet template that we just saved. Assuming you've set up your sheets with the proper templates and views as shown here in our PCB1 document, we can now save this as a document template. It'll contain the views and sheets that we just configured. If this document template was saved into the templates folder path, you'll be able to select it when creating a new Draftsman document. So every time you use this template for a new drawing, it'll automatically add the information from the PCB based on the views and information that you have defined in your template. From here, you can readjust and resize any objects as needed to ensure that you have a clean and informative Draftsman document.